Hello, I'm Nick Poulin, and today we're going to take a closer look at an outstanding Gettysburg-related archive of musician Willard Baker of the 75th Ohio Volunteers. It includes his Civil War drum, other instruments, original documents from the war, and a CDV album that photos him and his other musicians in his company. Willard Baker enlisted as an 18-year-old drummer in Company D of the 75th Ohio Volunteer Militia in 1861. He later mustered out in December of 1864, having seen most of the major battles of the Army of the Potomac. A handwritten manuscript that lists the 106 towns that the 75th Ohio marched through during the war accompanies this grouping, indicating that they marched through nearly every town in Northern Virginia, as well as the Antietam Campaign in Maryland and Gettysburg. The list was written by musician James Pennell, who accompanied Willard Baker through the war and is pictured in the CDV album that accompanies this grouping. At the Battle of Chancellorsville, Many of the Union units were routed by Jackson's surprise attack, running away in panic. The 75th, however, were cited for standing their ground, taking over 150 casualties killed and wounded in just 10 minutes, including Colonel Robert Riley. After the loss of their commander at the Battle of Chancellorsville, command was assumed by Colonel Andrew Harris, whose CDV is included inside of this album. He would later go on to become the governor of Ohio and lead the unit in the Battle of Gettysburg. On the first day of fighting, the 75th had a defensive position on what is now known as Barlow's Knoll. They were attacked by two Confederate brigades of General George Doles and General John Gordon. Union General Barlow's division, including the 75th, was overwhelmed, suffering large losses. Barlow was actually wounded and left for dead on the field. Colonel Harris and the 75th made a successful withdrawal to Cemetery Hill, where they became entrenched on the northeast side. The following day, they were among the troops that held off the attacks from the Louisiana Tigers Brigade. Overall, the Buckeye Regiment had 186 casualties. 16 were killed, 74 wounded, and 96 missing or captured. The unit's heroics at Gettysburg are commemorated by two battlefield monuments that represent the position that the 75th held during this decisive battle. The regiment's last service was in the 10th Army Corps on the South Carolina coast where the photographs of Willard's fellow musicians were taken. The CDV album is personally inscribed by Willard as being purchased in January of 1864 and is a standalone collectible consisting of 15 military CDVs, 11 of which are views of his fellow musicians, most of whom are standing next to a drum mounted on a chair. One of the images appears to contain the very drum that is included in this grouping. All of the images are identified, including two of Willard, and many of them are signed. One of the CDVs that are included is that of Hosea Felter, who is the oldest musician in the group at 26 years old and the principal musician. All the other musicians were typically teenagers when enlisted, like Willard, who was 18 when he entered service. Several were captured, including Willard, and a few were wounded, although amazingly, all survived the war. In Willard's CDV, he's photoed standing next to a drum. The photographs are mostly by Sam Cooley of Beaufort, South Carolina, with various southern backmarks. Willard's drum is a regulation snare drum, however the eagle motif on the drum is atypical, not produced with the usual stenciled painting method most often encountered on mass-produced Civil War drums. Rather, it is a beautiful freehand painted work of art of the highest quality, consisting of an impressive patriotic American eagle holding a red ribbon over an American shield and bordered with a gilded Rococo wreath. The drum body is blue and each hoop is striped with a red, white, and blue. The Willard family not only preserved his drum and CDV album, but also Willard's fife and drumsticks, as well as his original discharge papers, his original pension documents, and a wonderfully preserved and unique invitation to Gettysburg's 50th reunion signed by James Middleton Cox, the governor of Ohio, in addition to numerous period newspaper clippings. 
Willard's great-great-granddaughter provided a notarized affidavit stating how these items descended through the family. And most interesting, she notes that the broken bottom hoop of the drum was caused by a strike during the Battle of Gettysburg. This is an incredibly rare opportunity to review a Civil War era drum and archive that is so well documented and preserved through the years. If you like this video and want to learn more about collectible items and militaria, then visit our website at poolandauctions.com. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, stay safe, and send it downrange.